last week's fish tip, tournament angler Mandy Urick showed us how to properly launch a boat. We move another step forward in the angling process as Urick and Ray Gildow of the Nisswa Guides League offer advice on selecting the fishing line. One of the most important things that any angler can select is the right kind of fishing line. And people are often confused about what to use. And actually there's more than we're gonna talk about today. There's three basic fishing lines that Mandy and I probably both use. Uh, there's another one or two or three that is probably not as common in our area. But let's just give you a few pointers on how to select the line for the kind of fishing that you're doing. Now the cheapest, the most common is monofilament line. It's been around for a long time. It's got a high stretch to it. It's really a plastic type line. It's um, something that you would have to change often, at least every year. You would uh, recommend that you change this out. It does have memory. By memory, I mean if you get little kinkles in it, the little twists in it, it stays in it. So it's hard to get that out, and often it drives people crazy when that stuff uh, twists up like that. But it's monofilament. comes in a variety of different uh, weights, and it comes in a variety of different colors. This is a, a light green that I like to use in stained water. And I use this mostly, in my cases, for leader line. And then we also have fluorocarbon, which is a little more expensive. It doesn't reflect any light. It's a perfect leader material because it, it is almost in, totally invisible to fish. And that's something that I like to use for mostly for leaders, but some people use this as their whole spool fixed up with fluorocarbon yeah. just for that purpose. And the third kind of the time that's become probably the most popular for us is the braided line, and Andy's going to talk about that. Braid, unlike fluorocarbon and mono, has the highest amount of visibility, which can be seen in high water clarity situations. It has the highest buoyance ratio, which means that it's floats and it also has zero stretch to this line. It's great in all applications and can be used year after year. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.